In this video, I will share what homework patients with Dupuytren contracture need to do between the sessions to speed up recovery and help therapists to solve clinical case as soon as possible and restore function of the hand. My name is Dr. Ross Truchininov. I'm founder of Science of Massage Institute located in Phoenix, Arizona. We will discuss the subject of Jupiter and contracture. One particular reason that it is more and more frequently happening in our practice. For what reason? Older patients coming to our clinic with this uh, very uncomfortable symptoms on the hand due to extensive practicing golf game. And that's one of the reasons why we have significant spike in Dupuytren contractures in our clinic in Phoenix, Arizona. People get retired, move from New York City to the warmer climate, start to practice golf game, try to improve it without gloves, and combination of the force of gravity, weight of the club, and repetitive motions eventually traumatize palmar aponeurosis, and that creates scarification and adhesions between the tendons and the aponeurosis debilitating function. The picture what you see right now is the outcome of the Dupuytren contracture, which requires surgical intervention. There is no any kind of conservative therapy can help the patient with the symptoms like that. However, that can be completely avoidable if the proper treatment by massage therapists who practice medical massage and correct homework which done patients between the sessions combined together and uh, to deliver stable clinical outcome. This is why the same self-therapy patients can do in the future to prevent additional scarification of the palmar aponeurosis and prevent slow progress of the disease when the surgery only solution. First of all, a reason for Dupuytren contracture need to be clearly established first. And Dupuytren contracture can form as a result of different abnormalities in the neck and upper extremity. We will discuss that. The fact is that Dupuytren contracture is scarification of the palmar aponeurosis, and it needs to be treated as a local pathology as well. That requires medical massage protocol for Dupuytren contracture, but that's what therapist does. There is another equally important component, what patient does at home between the sessions. And this uh, uh, support, which is 50% of the success, 50% come from therapist, 50% come from the patient. And this 50% consists from, at the evening, patient supposed to take hot hand bath in the sink, and a lot of Epsom salt or even table salt need to be put in the water to create hypertonic solution. So the patient first saw hand under hot water. Then he or she moves hands and fingers under water, create repetitive contraction. After that, patient stretches palmar aponeurosis under hot water. Then after that, patient put Voltaren gel and uh, put glove and sleep with that. What we will discuss right now, what patient need to do from the stretching perspective and also how he can help therapist by locally decompressing palm and increase flexibility and mobility of the skin and decompress palmar aponeurosis, which will prevent further scarification and eventually adhesions formed between the aponeurosis and the tendon of the flex. If you want to decisively help patients in complex clinical cases, greatly increase your income, and partner with local medical communities, please click right now at the link below in description and join us for live medical massage seminars and webinars, and we will work together. Thank you and see you in the future. Here is early stage of Jupiter and contracture, and it look like normal hand. But let me bring fourth finger in dorsiflexion. So here is, you can clearly see nodule and little adhesions form in the middle of the hand at the base of the fourth finger. And Dupuytren contracture always start 
around the fourth finger and eventually it will progress and scarificate fifth finger and will create this situation when patient cannot open fourth and fourth fingers and that requires surgical intervention. So here is clear early stage of adhesions form and that early stage of GP and contracture which is fixable from the perspective it will never get worse. To do that underwater and several times during the day patient need to do very simple thing. They put index finger on the fourth finger and then thumb on the opposite side of the hand. So right now stretch will be during long exhalation and when the exhalation happens patient pushes index finger down while lifting the thumb up and that create counter force which stretches band of palmar aponeurosis scarificated by the Dupuytren contraction. This is five stretches during long exhalation. Patient need to do not only underwater, but also several times per day, five repetitions each. Second thing what patient can do is actually work on the nodule by him or herself. You ask them to control the nodule and move nodule in the lateral as well as the longitudinal direction to decompress nodule which form between the skin, pulmonary polymerosis and hand of the flex. The combination of these two simple things, passive stretch during only exhalation and local lateral shift conducted by the patient between the sessions dramatically help therapists to quickly restore elasticity and flexibility of the pulmonary polymerosis and prevent formation of the further adhesions. On top of that, after therapy is done with the patient, patient needs to do these stretches and this local work on the palm, you know, three, two, three times per day or even one time per day after a hot shower, that will be also help. But it needs to be done daily to prevent additional adhesions because the process already started. So the only one way is to avoid the surgery, to do it regularly on a daily basis to prevent accumulation of the tension, which will contribute to the further scarification and formation of adhesions. So that is what patient job 50%, which in combination of the best therapist hand will actually solve this uh, problem and they can play golf, do physical activity without further fear of necessity and necessity of the surgery, which by the way is not very successful in 100% cases because very frequently it requires second and third surgery with questionable outcomes. Prevention of the surgery is better way to deal than the surgery itself. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and we will see each other again in the next video.